So nice to have you here. And we've been talking about this for years, but I, I love Silicon Valley. I just love the show. I'm kind of heartbroken that it's winding up, but I'm really loving this season. Thanks, it's great. Conan. That it's makes really me good. So good. Yeah. You were, we saw each other backstage, and you mentioned that your son watches the show. Um, yeah, I lied. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He I said, don't have a son and we don't own a television. <laughs> yeah. You're no. more of a wireless radio <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, my son, uh, my son is really into tech and he just turned 14 and he absolutely loves the show. So we watch it together. Uh, as like that's the thing we do together because we don't speak. And uh, <laughs> but he's absolutely a, a, just it's like you're his hero. That you're a character. He just loves your character. Well, yeah. I love I, I'm now I'm gonna be creepy to your son. I love you back. <laughs> I don't know how to. I didn't like that it at all. It felt weird. It wasn't good. It wasn't good. What the hell was that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, that's all the time we have. <laughs> Goodbye, Zach. <laughs> that's all the time we have in this friendship. <laughs> You know, well, like, uh, you've had... Operate, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, it's like, uh, this went is to catch a bird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Oh, it's getting so creepy. Let's stop. Okay, uh, <laughs> you keep digging the hole I deeper. I can't, sorry. You know, um, I want to mention this because uh, there's so many cool things that you get to do, uh, you know, when you, when you have a hit TV show and yeah. you're part of this great cast. Uh, you do a lot of nice things, too. I'm, I'm told that you visited... Is this like a juvenile, like a juvenile prison? Is that I right? Did. I did. Well, a uh, friend of mine works with this organization called... Uh, Inside Out Writers, which helps do writing workshops for incarcerated youth. Um, and I went to one of their workshops. And are these, are these young people, do they know Silicon Valley? Do they know who you are? I don't think so. Yeah. I, I, it, but it was interesting going in. I was like, I don't really have a sense of what the sort of frame of reference is in terms of what, te what television is popular among the kids in there. But I went in, and the guy who I was with said he had me stand up in front of all of these guys and was like, what do you think this guy does for a living? Um, which was <laughs> such a loaded, so rare to be in a room of people where, where they say, like, what's this guy's basic vibe? Especially yeah. like <laughs> very tough teenagers, yeah. <laughs> it's scary. Yeah. So I thought, is it gonna be like an intern at a mortuary or a... <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not someone who's getting paid at <laughs> yeah, the mortuary. Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. No. Apprenticeship <laughs> only. Just there for the perks, yeah. <laughs> or a DJ at like a... Yeah. <laughs> the perks. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. 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 So I just work here for the smell. <laughs> <laughs> But no, what they said was, and I was very delighted, they went, yeah. multiple uh, kids said, oh, he's a, you're a skateboarder. They think you're a they skateboarder. They thought I was a skateboarder because I was wearing a button down shirt and canvas shoes. So I think they were like, that's a skateboarder. Little do they know, I have never stepped on a skateboard in my life because I feel precarious and off balance enough just in daily yeah, existence. I was gonna say, yeah. you and I have, you and I have a similar build, right. which is our center of gravity is up here in the Adam's apple. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, you know, I, I like when anything that involves like incredible balance, no, I would just go over like a like a bad tree. Yes, you know? like a bad tree. A yes. tree that had gone rotten, the limbs. Oh, we'll, sure. we'll talk about that. Yeah, a rotten tree. <laughs> yeah. Um, the only thing I've ever done that is close to skateboarding, and it's really not that close, is I, when I lived in New York, I bought a folding bike. Which is this is like little bike that is low to the ground, and you fold it up to take it into the subway so that you can go anywhere. But I, uh, it was too heavy for me to carry into the subway. <laughs> So Wait, I, you couldn't lift the folding bike? I could lift it, but it was a real production, and I just, the, like, <laughs> lugging it down the steps, it was just too much. So I would ride it along the West Side Highway, but I was so scared of getting hit by cars that I just covered myself in reflectors and lights, and I had, like, a, I had a helmet with lights on it and a vest and lights on my, on my, um, a lot of lights, and I was driving, <laughs> driving, I was riding down the West Side Highway, and all these women kept looking at me. And I was like, well, I guess I'm quite hot to track today. <laughs> <laughs> Until I got to Battery Park, and then I saw myself in one of these like reflected glass buildings, and I just looked horrible. I just was like tall, a bad tree on a small bike, covered in Christmas yeah. lights. Bling, 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 bling. Yeah, You got a look and you thought, oh, maybe they were looking at me more in, in wonder and horror, you know? Yes, I mistook their disgust and bewilderment for attraction. <laughs> <laughs>